everybody, it's Pris Chu from PrisChu.com back again. Today's video is a run through of my experiences at Universal Studios Japan or USJ for short, where I will share my experiences as well as tips and tricks on how to beat the queues there. Stay tuned! As you can see, it was complete and utter chaos at 9.15am in the morning when we alighted from the train station to enter Universal Studios Japan. There were so many people there and it was really crowded. Let me give a disclaimer. Please note that these are my personal experiences. The prices of the tickets and the queues and waiting times may change according to the season. This is the ticketing counter at USJ. The counter of USJ are pretty jam-packed and crowded. So this is what brings me to my first tip. Do not buy the tickets on the day itself. You must buy your tickets in advance if you want to beat the queue. I recommend you purchase about two weeks to a month before the date that you plan to go to USJ. And do note that you have to nominate your date in advance, so make sure that your plans are concrete before you purchase your ticket. We purchased our tickets from the USJ website and the price is 8,600 yen per person. This is the price of the basic studio admission ticket without any additional purchases or add-ons. Do note that the express passes sell out very quickly, so I strongly recommend that you purchase an express pass at the same time that you purchase your ticket. There are a few different types of express passes depending on the number of rides that you want to cut the queues for. The express pass that we went for is the Express 4, which comprised of four rides. Minion Mayhem, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, Mario Kart Cooper's Challenge, and the last one was a choice between the Amazing Spider-Man and the Jurassic Park ride. So this one cost 6,800 yen per person. But if you want Express Pass for more rides, there's also another pass con consisting of seven of the most popular rides at the theme park. But this will set you back by 10,800 yen per person. So it is pretty expensive. If you opt not to buy an Express Pass, there is an option of joining the single rider lanes for some of the rides. But do note that not all rides have this option, so you cannot rely on it as a foolproof method to save time. At the admission gate, the staff will really check your bags thoroughly to see whether you have food and drink, so sneak in food at your own risk. The first ride that we checked out was the Amazing Spider-Man ride. For this ride, we were in and out within about 10 minutes thanks to our express passes. Do you see the 60 minute long waiting queue for those who are not on an express pass? For the single rider queue at this hour in the morning, the first thing in the morning, the queue was about 35 minutes long. The second ride that we checked out was the Minion Mayhem Despicable Me ride over at the Minion Park area. We waited about 20 minutes with our express pass for this particular ride.
you can see from the queue here, it is particularly long for this ride as well. For those who are not on an express pass, it is about 85 to 90 minutes. If you want to go on a single rider queue, you prepare to wait about 40 minutes for this ride. So even express pass versus single rider queue, the express pass for half the amount of time that you need to wait. There are so many cute things at the Minion gift shop area. Lunch at the Happiness Cafe, which is the Minion Park Cafe, costs about 2,100 yen per person for a set. At the Super Nintendo World, where the Mario Go Kart ride is held, do note that you need a timed ticket to enter this area. Timed tickets can be obtained by going to the area first thing in the morning and collecting your timed ticket for the day, or else you can buy an express pass featuring the Super Nintendo World and the Mario Go Kart Cooper's Challenge ride, which gives you access to both areas as well as a chance to skip the queues. So take your pick at whether you want to go to the area early to choke your ticket or else just buy an express pass which is basically the easy way out but obviously cost more money the super nintendo world area was super cool indeed but however was very crowded at the same time Mario Kart Cooper's Challenge ride is one of the most popular rides at USJ. For normal queuing time, you prepare about 105 minutes, which is basically more than 1 hour and 40 minutes. We had an express pass that featured this ride as well, so for us it took about 20 minutes to go in. For those who are not on an express pass, you can opt to join the single rider queue which took about 35 minutes because we actually went on this ride twice. The first time on an express pass and second time on a single rider queue. The second ride in the Super Nintendo World is Yoshi's Adventure, which takes about 45 minutes on a normal ride queue. The Yoshi's Adventure ride was not included in our Express Pass, so we just queued up for it. Even though the queues might look crazy, for this ride they were actually not too bad. There were plenty of other sights and sounds to see and do at Super Nintendo World apart from the rides. Our last stop of the day was the Wizarding World where we took the two rides, Flight of the Hippogriff and Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. I am a huge Harry Potter fan so this was my most anticipated area of the entire day. Ron Weasley, I found your car. Welcome to Hawksmead. The queue for the butter beer looked 
pretty long at first glance but fortunately it cleared quickly and I got my butter beer in about 5 minutes. The drink is quite expensive at about 700 yen per glass but it tasted good. I received my Hogwarts letter and I'm trying on the Gryffindor house robes. I wish, right? Only a true Gryffindor can wear the sword of Godric Gryffindor. Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey is one of the most popular rides at USJ. You will need to wait 100 minutes for the ride on a normal queue. On an express pass, the wait is shortened to about 10 to 15 minutes. There was no single rider queue on the day that we went. So if you don't want a long wait, you have to buy an express pass for this ride. This is the other Harry Potter ride, the Flight of the Hippogriff. If you want to ride this on a normal queue, it is about 40 minutes long in the afternoon, about 5 p.m. Comparing Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey versus Flight of the Hippogriff, I would say Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey is way better if you like roller coasters. Unfortunately, the flying dinosaur was closed so we didn't get to ride it. Towards the end of the day, USJ can get more busy and the crowds for the queues can be more insane. For example, the Hollywood Dream roller coaster we wanted to ride but when we got there about 5.45pm, the queue was already closed for the day. The park closes at 7pm. So even at 5.45, the wait for the ride was already more than an hour long. This is very different to Universal Studios Singapore whereby the crowds tend to thin out towards the end of the day. So if you are thinking of using this tactic, I would say no, it's not a good idea. Just look at the sheer crowds leaving USJ just at closing hour. So to sum it up in a nutshell, my top quick tips would be number one, go as early as possible as soon as the park opens. Number two, buy an express pass in order to save yourself waiting time. To choose your express pass, it is very important to pick the rights that you want to optimize and prioritize. These are the rights that you should go for the express pass for. Number three, it is not possible to expect the crowd to thin out towards the end of the day. This is a tactic for Universal Studios in Singapore, but you cannot apply it for USJ. And as well, it's very important to buy your ticket well in advance. Do not wait to buy your ticket on the day itself. I hope that these tips have helped you. Thank you for watching. I really hope my little video on USJ helped you and that you gleaned some tips on how you yourself can beat the queues there. Most importantly, please remember to have plenty of fun when you go. This is Pris Chu from PrisChu.com signing out. If you are happy with what you saw, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel at PrisChu.com. Until the next video, bye-bye.